Today is day six, and today we are going to be looking at mastering item attributes and variants in ERP Next. So while we are here, we are going again to navigate back to our stock module, and then we go to our item. We still have our one item here, but because I would like to explore the topic of variants exhaustively, you will allow me to create another item that is not a phone, maybe something like a shirt. Yeah. So I am going to say here that this is a T shirt, right? And then here we can have an item group of a product. I can edit this in full form. There is this, let me actually save it first so that you see something that I need you to see. You see, this item says here that it is enabled. And even if you go to the list, you notice that both of them say it's enabled, enabled. I want to go back here and then check on this checkbox. You see where we see ha we are seeing has variants here, and it's telling you if this item has variants, then it cannot be selected in sales order CTC. This means that you cannot use this item the moment we do that into any stock transaction it is going to be converted into something else and you notice that when i check here this tab shows up so if i remove it disappears if i check it shows up and then i can save i need to first of all come to this tab and do some few things i will add these are now the attributes so because i have already said that this item has variants if i come to variants now i need to specify first of all here what is it that is an attribute of this item uh, what is the attribute of this item based on is it based on the attribute or is it based on the manufacturer the different variants that we have for a t-shirt so a t-shirt we can be it uh, can be based on it, it can even be manufacturer so if you want to separate your items into manufacturer one manufacturer two etc etc you can go ahead and do that you see if i check here then you'll be able to uh, create different items for different manufacturers but i want us to see this when you select item attribute item attribute for a t-shirt could be color it could be size it could be what is the other thing um it could be basically anything that you can think about even if you are grouping it by weight and i would like us to also add weight here may, excuse me may not make a lot of sense but i would like us to add it so that i can show you also how to create new attributes so down here in the attributes uh, child table you add arrow and notice here that we have to color and size we are going to add both right and that's it that's all we need to do if i do that now you notice that this item that was seen here enabled now changed to a template even if you look at uh, at it in the you know the list view this is template this is enabled so this is an item that can be used in transactions and this is an item that cannot be used in transactions because it is a template so if i open it now to create the attributes you notice that we have two of them here we just need to click on this you can create a single attribute so if i click on this this is what happens you select the color and you select the size so if i select for example red t-shirt size large and create that creates for me the item i can just go ahead and save it so if you check this is what happens so we have t-shirt red l l for large that is how you create one right if you want to create multiple because again why would you create one 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 when you can create multiple and here up next is kind enough to provide us this button if you click on this now remember we selected red but we selected only red large so <clears throat> what happens here is that if the, the system multiplies what you have here and what you have in the other row columns so for example this is one times one if i select because we already had large you see if you don't check anything in any column this is not going to be enabled if i select red and those four this is going to be one times four four variants if i select green 
that is 2 times 4 which is 8 blue black and probably even white this is going to be 5 times 4 which is 20 but those are going to be a lot let me just do like those two yeah two here and four here which are eight variants so what happens when i do that click on save and let me tell you when you do that if you now go to the items the system has created for you all the seven items so now here we have t-shirt green large t-shirt green medium t-shirt green uh, small and then green extra small red all that now if i go back here remember i told you that i would like us to add more uh, of this say for example in the color you have more than those colors because you see when you come to here the only things that you can select here in the color are red green blue black and white what if you have yellow so what you need to do is to come to uh, this color and then here you are able to add your rows so you can add yellow you can add orange and then you save it yeah we need to specify the the abbreviation so yellow maybe yl and then orange or oh, we, i mean it's it's up to you to decide how you like this to, to behave so if i do that now and i come to create and i click on this you see now my yellow and my orange show up the same can be done on the size so for example if all the sizes are not captured just go to size and click on this arrow and you'll be able to add more sizes here now if you want to create your own attribute i don't want to click on this you see i can click on this but i would like to work from here because this is the screen you're going to be able to get to easily when you're in the item that for those variants you can add another row here and when you add another row you can now create a new item attribute from here is going to bring you here if you look clearly it is on the same item attribute then the new one we can see with this what i was saying with probably does not make so much sense but i just wanted to make sure that i show you how to add new item attributes and then you can add on this one maybe heavy and maybe the abbreviation is hv we have medium and then we have light which is maybe lt and this one is what md right and then we save it and now the other thing that we need to do is edit item let me let me go back to that item so go to stock and so go to stock and then go to what's happening my, my computer is kind of raising here uh, oh yeah it's already there so i just need to save it now when I save, remember what I saved was the attribute uh, here on the item template. If I now go to create and click on multiple, you notice that now I have width as one of the things that I can select. So now I can say I have a medium t-shirt that is blue and I, you see this one still is not enabled and it's light. Another that is heavy. So this is medium blue heavy medium blue right so it's going to be one times one times two which is two if i pick on uh, small it's going to be two times one two times two four if i click on yellow eh, basically that one i explained so that is what happens and i would like to stop that video there if you have any questions please do, do always put them on the comment section below and i'll be very happy to assist you now other than that, if you have not already, already uh, fo followed my page, that is my YouTube page, you need to do that. And I also encourage you to check on the description section of this video. There is a link to follow me on LinkedIn because everything that doesn't go on, link on, on YouTube is on LinkedIn. So make sure you follow me on LinkedIn. That is where almost everything is. And that having been said, I will stop day six there. See you tomorrow on day seven on a different topic.